Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them, talking all about songwriting and what has worked for various artists over the course of a handful of years, whether those songs have been hits or not. So this latest kick that I'm on is called, Well, How Did We Get Here? In an earlier blog, I talked about songs named after roads, highways, and interstates. And in another, I talked about mentioning states and cities and songs and or song titles. These are among my favorite things to write about as they uh, give specific emotional connections to certain modes of transport, but uh, they still give a very relatable uh, message in the song. So uh, here we're going to shift our focus, like I said, from the road to our mode of transport. And I want to give a shout out to Talking Heads, too, for uh, the name of this particular blog. Uh, you know, I'm sure they, uh, you know, they've been staying pretty busy with uh, the press for uh, Stop Making Sense and that anniversary. But, you know, I got to say, uh, pretty sure. Pretty sure that they uh, still take the time to uh, read my blog and watch my uh, vlogs. Uh, that just strikes me as something that they would spend their time doing. Uh, so first mode of transport that we're going to talk about is a car. And this, of course, is a little red Corvette by Prince. So a few uh, blogs ago and vlog kicks ago, I talked about songs with uh, colors in the title. And I mentioned having left Little Red Corvette out. In that particular blog and vlog kick, I wanted to make sure that the color discussed in the song conveyed some sort of emotion and visual that was crucial to the song's message. In a little red Corvette, the fact that the car is red might be a metaphor for love, but what truly matters uh, as a visual is that it was too fast. Fast takes on a double meaning here. There's fast like, oh, our romance was brief, but as we saw in Darling Nikki a few years later, that didn't really fully matter to Prince. The second definition of fast is, uh, like Darling Nikki, someone who sleeps with a lot of people, being unfaithful to the prior flame or the current flame in this particular case. This is the more likely trajectory with visuals such as, guess I must be dumb, she had a pocket full of horses, a Trojan and some of them used. Now I'm going to talk about the word Trojan here because it takes on multiple different meanings or could depending on the mood that Prince's sister is in. Uh, but uh, Trojan, the some of them being used, I think of a condom immediately. Uh, so the used condoms that he finds and whatever that like, oh, you know, this isn't your first time with a man. It could also refer to uh, the decoy that was the Trojan horse. The pocket full of horses could also uh, refer to the horsepower on the car, allowing it to go faster uh, the more horsepower it has, which can be seen as uh, the speed at which one makes love and the speed at which one leaves after doing so. However, the visual of an actual horse doesn't get completely ignored as seen in the second verse when he references the jockeys who'd been here before me. The bridge sees him trying to tame her little red love machine. There are so many things to analyze in this song, but the metaphor of a car, especially one that looks fancy on the surface, is just gorgeously haunting. And of note, this song was actually inspired by Revolution member Lisa Coleman's car being parked sideways in Prince's yard after an all-night recording session at Paisley Park. Keep your head on a swivel, songwriters. The mildest observation could lead to a fabulous song. So melodically, the song is written in the key of C-sharp major, and the most prominent instruments in the song are synthesizers and drums. On the synth, the intro uses F-sharp, G-sharp, A-sharp, minor 7, and F-sharp 9, which are also the chords used in the verses. This is a 4-5-1-4 pattern. When he gets to the But It Was Saturday Night line, he uses F-sharp, G-sharp, A-sharp minor 7, and G-sharp, which are the 4-5-1-5 five, chords. The chorus then uses uh, F-sharp, G-sharp, C-sharp, 
F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp minor 7, which is a 4, 5, 1, 4, 5, 6 pattern. The F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp then repeat before ending on F sharp and G sharp. The solo uses G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp minor 7, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. That is a 5, 1, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 1, 4, 5 pattern. And then the bridge uses the same chords as the intro. Structurally, the song uses a verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, solo, bridge, chorus, chorus format, with the last chorus changing up the lyrics slightly, saying you've got to slow down instead of you're much too fast. The album version is about two minutes longer than the radio edit and contains some lyrical riffing by Prince at the end. So Little Red Corvette is embedded below. It is one of my absolute favorite songs uh, by Prince, although that's like choosing my favorite student, only much, much harder. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope that you uh, get something productive out of it uh, in your own writing. Happy writing, as always. I am Minnesota Mike. Next time, uh, we are going to look at A Horse With No Name by America.